Hello and welcome to this web series on System Center Operations Manager 2012 R2 covering installation and configuration. My name is Daniel Queen and in this series I'm going to be taking you through the basics of setting up a brand new System Center Operations Manager 2012 R2 environment uh, complete with a few of the extended features. Uh, you're watching part one which is an introduction and a brief overview to this series. A quick bit about me, my name is Daniel Queen as I already said. I've been working with SCOM since its earlier days. Um, previous to that I worked a little bit with Microsoft Operations Manager and then from there on I worked with SCOM 2007, RTM SP1, R2, 2012, 2012 SP1 and now 2012 R2. Uh, the goal of this series is I'm going to take you through a basic installation of all the server components from the ground up, the creating the security accounts, setting up the SQL databases, installing the management servers, installing a gateway server scenario. I'm going to show you how to deploy various kinds of agents. I'm going to show you how to deploy um, Windows agents using the console, Windows agents manually installed. We're going to discover some network devices, and I'm even going to show you how to set up the Unix slash Linux cross-platform agent using the new SIM provider that they provided in uh, R2. We're going to be doing that on a CentOS server. I think that's about it. We're going to also uh, deploy a web console and I'm going to show you how to set that up. And we're also going to set up reporting. A quick note about the lab environment that I have set up here. Um, it's a very simple setup. All I have is two domains built, each with their own domain controller. A domain admin user created in each one. I've got DNS resolution across to each one uh, with conditional forwarders, and I build a certificate authority in my primary domain that we'll be spending most of our time in. The actual SCOM environment design that we're going to be going through is going to look a little something like this right here. As you can see, I have our two domains. We have xlab.com and nutbolt.com. These are just names I picked out of thin air. You can see over here we have one management server that we will be working with here. You can add more than one management server um, as your needs for load balancing increase or high availability. Just for the purposes of this lab, we're going to be doing one. We're going to be configuring a SQL Server using SQL Server 2012 SP1. Normally in a production enterprise level environment I would give each of the major databases, the operational database and the data warehouse database, their own dedicated servers. This being a lab we're going to house both of them under one instance, that being the default instance, we're going to house them on one server. And I have one more server here built for the web and reporting server. So this is going to have IIS and reporting services even though I will probably house the actual reporting services database maybe back here I don't, I don't know yet which I'm gonna do honestly I don't actually have a firewall set up between these two uh, you might actually have a firewall in your scenario this is really just signifying that these two domains have no trust which is often the case why we would use a gateway server which brings me to my next point I have a gateway server which is just a low powered server over here in this other domain that is for all intents and purposes a proxy server for monitoring individual agents in a domain where we don't have a two-way trust and we cannot Kerberos authenticate between the management server and the agent so you know we will have agents out here that will speak directly to this management server and these gateways will speak to these agents will speak to the gateway server which will talk through here either a firewall or just a cross domain using an SSL certificate. I believe that's most of the considerations that we need to talk about and with all of that said we will go ahead and get on to part two which is covering creating our service accounts. Thanks and I will see you there. <laughs> 